Thanks for joining us. I'm Julian Grace. Well, investigators say it could have been a tragedy after a massive fire and two explosions in Marion on Saturday night. See, it sent six firefighters to the hospital and is being officially investigated as arson. 24 Hour News 8's Eric Feldman was in Marion today. And Eric, it sounds like it was even more dangerous than we originally thought. That's right, Julian. The building that caught on fire was storing 100 fire extinguishers. So that's what caused the two explosions that sent four firefighters to the hospital with hearing issues. That means there were 98 fire extinguishers, some 100 pounds, sitting there that could have caused incredible damage and potentially killed firefighters. And we're learning more here. The fire investigator says if the head or the top of the fire extinguisher got knocked off during the mayhem, the extinguisher would have become like a projectile missile, putting the firefighters inside and anybody outside nearby in incredible danger. Fortunately, he says the fire department's quick response prevented the fire from spreading and the pressure from rising. Earlier today, nearby residents described hearing everything on Saturday night, not knowing what could have happened. I was co making cookies, Christmas cookies, and I, I didn't, I heard some booms, but I didn't know, I thought it was big trucks, because we have lots of trucks across the street. So the fire caused about $250,000 in damage. The investigation is underway and we'll be sure to follow it in the coming days and the coming weeks. Now coming up at 11 o'clock, this is far from the first fire at this plant. We speak with these nearby residents about their frustration and their concerns. I'm Eric Feldman, 24 Hour News 8. Thanks, Eric. Well, here's some more information for you. This is the fifth major fire at the building complex since the Thompson plant closed in 2004. The day the company laid off a hundred hundreds of employees, a fire started that was also investigated as arson. A former employee was accused of setting it. Then in 2005, two separate explosions in just a two month span. One person died in each of those fires. They both started as salvage con contractors were working on the building to get it ready for resale. Then in 2007, a crew doing demolition work accidentally started a fire. They thought they put it out, but it flared back up later that night.